It is hard to think of a way we live that Google hasn't touched. And now you can add surgery to the list. It all starts with Google Glass, which lets an expert lend a helping hand in the operating room even when he or she is in another state. Mark Strassman shows us how it works. To the right. At the University of Alabama, Birmingham, orthopedic surgeon Brent Ponce prepared for a shoulder replacement. Behind his face shield, he wore Google Glass, the wearable computer. Its built-in camera is streaming live video of the procedure to another surgeon, 150 miles away in Atlanta. Can you square up on the screen, Brent? Where Dr. Fani Dantaluri not only watched the surgery, but offered a virtual hand. You see that right here, Fani? Yeah, I just did a case like this about two months ago. A ghostly projection of Dantaluri's hands was superimposed over what Ponce saw on the operating table. The merged images appeared in Ponce's Google Glass display. So was it, when you first put them on, what was it like? It, it, there's a little bit of a light bulb experience. We were able to say not just go left or right or up or down, but we were able to say right here, right there. Go faster from here to here. The pectoralis major is right here. On this day, Ponce and Dantaluri were testing Google Glass paired with Vipar, a video conferencing platform that allows users to interact with the picture. Nice and easy. It may be another year before the combined technology goes mainstream. Ponce is the only doctor testing it in surgery. With this technology, if I'm struggling, another surgeon is able to say, hey, get your head in the game, let's do this, let's do this, and they're able to walk through it together. So it's a little bit more of a safety net. It turns the surgery into a collaboration. Without question. Vipar plans to expand the pilot program to include more surgeons by the end of next year. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Birmingham, Alabama.